Hey out there, it's David Miller, Phoenix, Arizona Multimedia Artist, here with a quick two minute tip on how to do packing tape image transfers. This is a super simple technique. I use them for my cyanotypes when I wanna create negatives for them, and I use them for something called Artimat, which are cigarette sized blocks that you sell through the company, Artists in Cellophane. They go into old cigarette vending machines around the country. So that's what I'm doing in this video. I am using regular old packing tape that I got from the local 99 cent store and Xeroxes. I'm using black and white but you can absolutely use color for this technique if that's your jam. I'm going to place the Xerox on the back of the packing tape so sticky side onto the image surface. I have a bowl of warm water it's up to you. If you want to use cold water, that works. Warm water seems to help the paper removal a little bit better. And I am using a sponge. Once I have my image thoroughly soaked in the warm water, I use the sponge, apply pressure onto the non-image side and rub it off. Make sure all the excess paper is gone. The ink from my image stays on the packing tape. And now I have something that I can use for the processes that I mentioned earlier, but other people might find them useful for scrapbooking, other mixed media projects. Packing tape is not the only surface that this works with. For my larger negatives that I use in my cyanotypes, I utilize what's called contact paper. It's something you can get at any Walmart or grocery store. It's the kind of thing that goes in your cabinet surfaces. There you have it, another two minute tip. Best of luck in your own creative endeavors.